Hey there Aquarius, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is going to be your general weekly reading. Um, and this is for the week that we're currently in. Uh, I decided to just go ahead and do the weeklies even though they are late. Okay, so this is for the week that we're currently in. Any information you guys need, you can find it within the description box down below. Be sure to check out the daily energies on the Instagram and Facebook pages. Okay, be sure to like and follow those pages. So, Aquarius, this is going to be for you guys for this week, okay? Now, I'm not reading in a straight line, so if the message is not resonating with you in the beginning, you're more than welcome to stick around or skip around. You might find something that does resonate with you. And these can, of course, apply to anything, not just love, so keep that in mind. Um, if I'm speaking too fast for you, you're more than welcome to slow the video down in the settings under playback speed, okay? I'm aware that I talk pretty fast at times, but uh, if I'm focused on the speed of my voice, it really distracts me from the messages. So, you guys can control that in the settings if you'd like. We have the Four of Swords as your overall energy. Let's see if we have any patterns. Not really. I mean, we have two threes out here. Um... So with the Four of Swords being your overall energy and the Two of Swords being present right here, I feel like there's there's this yearning kind of energy right off the bat um, to get out of a situation or to move away from a situation. You have a Three of Wands here, so I feel like you're fantasizing. You're looking off in the distance at something. I also feel like some of you are going to be receiving a really good message, something you've been wishing for here very soon, okay, with the Star card being here. It's something that you wish for. The Three of Wands can be sending something out, okay? So I feel like somebody's sending something out to you. The Star is your card. It's something you've been waiting on here, okay? Um, but other than that, you know, with the Four of Swords being your overall energy, I think there's something that you're grieving over, possibly thinking that you're never going to get over something or move out of the situation. Okay, let's look at that. Some of you could have your Moon and Libra. There's that Eight of Wands, okay, a message, okay? It's going to allow for major growth for you guys. What's going on with the Two of Swords, please, for Aquarius? Page of Cups. Yeah, some kind of message here is going to move you forward. The four plus the two is the six of swords, and that is the energy of progression moving forward. Some of you are going to be moving on from a person and moving on to a water sign here. I feel like if you are moving on from a person, it's been someone you've been stuck on for a long time, okay? So some of you, your hope and faith is being restored in love is how that feels to me. We have the um, Knight of Cups here as well, Pisces energy. Some of you, this could be within your business. Maybe you feel like you're very hidden or like not a lot of people are seeing you. You're not getting enough exposure. Um, I feel like you're going to be getting some kind of news that says otherwise. What's going on with the Knight of Cups? Maybe you're receiving your first sale or something of that nature here. Give me the Knight of Cups. Or an opportunity to expose your business or your work more. We're getting the star with the Knight of Cups. So again, something you wish for is coming in here. Some kind of offer with the Knight of Cups. That's a rescue. So like I said, with the with the Four of Swords and the Two of Swords here, it feels like there's a situation you have felt very stuck in. We use stars to guide us. So some of you, yeah, you're rescuing yourselves. For others of you, there is someone coming in here to offer you something that you've been waiting on, okay? Even if it's just a piece of information that's going to move you forward out of this Eight of Swords energy. Let's clarify that one. What's going on with the Eight of Swords here? Ooh, I'm sorry, you guys. Goodness gracious. I did not know. I thought I was closer to the table than that <laughs> with these cards. What's going on with the Eight of Swords? Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, Venus, and Virgo. Some of you could be changing your looks or just changing something on the physical, okay? But the Nine of Pentacles is a card of luxury. It's enjoying the finer things in life. Um, and you have Jupiter and Gemini here. This is a card of growth and expansion, believe it or not. It's just a card of your mind kind of keeping you very stuck. So I feel like you are getting out of that energy and moving into this more positive place, okay? We have the Five of Cups as well. So again, I feel like you're grieving over something that you think is stuck, okay? Or that you think is never going to move forward. Maybe you're grieving over a felt harvest with something here okay but you do have the two of cups standing behind him all right and in the very next card you have the three of cups so the reason that i say a felt harvest is because of those three cups spilled over here because the three of cups represents a harvest okay so there's a new opportunity okay you're, you're able to try this again even if it's not the same exact the same exact thing okay it could be for some of you guys don't get me wrong but you are getting a second chance here what's going on with the five of cups somebody might have mars and scorpio Four of Swords can also be a card of gratitude, rest, rejuvenation, okay? So I feel like that is healing. You move When you move from the Three of Swords to the Four of Swords, you move out of that um, 
you know, heartbroken space, right? You move into a space of healing and truth and clarity and peace. Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you're getting back into the swing of things in some kind of situation. Like I said, this could be love. It could be work or business. Maybe you're trying some kind of new approach here with your business or something of that nature. But the Two of Pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn, that is a good card overall. I feel like you're also learning to manage certain things here. Maybe you haven't had a lot of discipline when it comes to the work that you're trying to put in. Maybe you've only put in so much and you're expecting a lot back. Just being real here, Aquarius. But, um, you know, and that if that doesn't resonate with you, then it doesn't resonate with you. It doesn't have to. But I feel like you've been very disappointed in the way that you've handled something as well. I feel like that's going to be changing, all right? You're getting back into the swing of things, trying a new approach here, okay? And I feel like you're just moving into this determined space overall, especially with this Three of Pentacles being down here. So let's look at this Three of Cups and see what that's about. What's going on with the Three of Cups? Networking as well for some of you guys where this is a business situation. What's going on with the Three of Cups? Getting in touch with people who have been there, who have the wisdom, with that star card being here. What's going on with the Three of Cups for Aquarius? I've, I've probably been calling you guys Capricorn. I'm sorry if I have. I'm, I'm really focused on that Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. If you're needing to make a decision, um, I do feel like that's that's going to be uh, coming to a head here. I feel like you're going to be closing something out. You move from the Two of Pentacles to the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And again, I feel like the people that you are surrounding yourselves with, um, or that you're going to be surrounding yourselves with is what I should say, I feel like they're actually going to bring you to this door, okay? I feel like they're actually going to bring you to this new opportunity or to this new home. Some of you, it's a new home, okay? I think that some of you are healing something with a past person. It's not in the way that you would think, okay? It's not in the way that you would think. I think there's been some kind of misunderstanding here. So I feel like that's going to be uh, something that's talked about at some point. Um, we have the Ten of Wands, Saturn and Sagittarius. So let's look at that. What's going on with the Ten of Wands? This doesn't have to be someone that you've re uh, or disconnected with for a long time. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It doesn't have to be an ex or anything of that nature. It could be, but I feel like it's a person you've just had a recent misunderstanding with. Um, and I feel like you're just kind of squashing something with that Four of Swords being your overall energy. What's going on with the Ten of Wands here? What's going on with the Ten of Wands, please? Five of Cups. Mm. Yeah, I feel like you're not satisfied with the amount of work that you've been putting in on some sort of situation here. King of Pentacles, you're not satisfied with a specific investment. The World card, I feel like you'll be closing that chapter though. Uh, this could be with a fixed sign, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo. It doesn't have to be with another person at all. I just feel like you've been in a totally different world here, okay? You're stepping into this world. This is the world that you're about to step into versus this world of just you know, disappointment where you're putting in a lot of work and you're not getting anything in return. I feel like for a lot of you Aquarius, this is, you know, due to the people that you were surrounding yourselves with, okay? There could have been a really controlling energy in your space here, but I feel like you're going to be closing a chapter and moving on to something better for yourself. You're creating something better for yourself is what I want to say here because you have the Three of Pentacles. So let's look at that. I feel like there's peace in knowing, even if you don't even have whatever this is yet, even if you don't have this victory yet, this new chapter yet, there's peace in knowing that you're working towards it at least, that you have a plan. What's going on with the Three of Pentacles, Mars and Capricorn? You are feeling very inspired overall though, and I feel like it has something to do with some people that you're encountering here. Four of Wands, okay? That is Venus and Aries. So this could be a promotion because you are being recognized here. You're being praised for something, okay? Uh, he is kind of, uh, he's up on that stool there. Sometimes readers will read this as a card of something being put on a pedestal, okay? Being given a lot of importance, attention, recognition, okay? So I feel like you are being recognized for your work here. Some of you, like I said, someone is going to want to collaborate with you, lay down new roots with you with the Four of Wands energy. Um, but I feel like this is something that you've wished for. And again, it could be a pay raise or a promotion for some within the workplace, of course. But I feel like this is also something that you're creating that is going to bring you a lot of fulfillment with the Four of Wands, okay? We have the Seven of Wands showing up next, Mars and Capricorn. What's going on here with the Seven of Wands for Aquarius, please? You guys have so much Capricorn energy out here. I think that's another reason I've been 
one and call you guys Capricorn, three of pentacles, more Capricorn energy. So yeah, I feel like you are, you're, you're passing a test here if you've been working on something. Three of pentacles can sometimes be an apprentice, okay? But, um, you know, if you are, if you have been working on something in school or if you've been working on some kind of certification, that ace of pentacles could be that certification, okay? But the three of pentacles being present here, it's, it's been a work in progress. I feel like you're going to be passing some kind of test, okay? Or you're just very determined to get to this point here where you're defeating something, okay? The seven of wands is like a card of conviction. You're just very firm in what it is that you know, what it is that you believe, and what you want. Okay, so for some of you guys, again, I feel like you are cutting certain people out here, um, and it's going to allow you to defeat certain obstacles that you never really saw yourself defeating, okay? And you may not really realize how your environment or the people that you're keeping around you has affected you when it comes to working towards this, but sometimes we can surround ourselves with very discouraging, uh, pessimistic people, okay? And sometimes that really can affect us. It can make us not want to go for something because sometimes we don't we don't always have the motivation or the discipline to go for something anyways. Imagine that feeling with people in your ear just encouraging that energy, right? So I feel like you are defeating that and you're moving through it and you're working towards something better for yourself. We have the... Uh, death card here, scorpionic energy. So again, I feel like you are putting an end to certain situations here, but I also feel like that is an energy of transformation and stepping into a new world. What's going on with that death card? The king of swords, seeing the truth of a situation, you know? And a lot of court cards, they won't really face you straight. A lot of them look down to the side and, or look down or look off to the side. The king of swords, he faces you straight. In the traditional Rider Waite deck anyways, in this deck that I'm reading from, they they are facing straight, right? The king of pentacles is as well, but uh, that's how I always read the king of swords as somebody who, who um, has all the information they need to start something new or to end a situation, okay? So you have clarity, you have acceptance, all right? And I like the death card. A lot of readers, they are not a lot of readers, I shouldn't say that, but a lot of people, you know, they see the death card as something that's very scary. But to me, this is like the energy of finding the truth and just knocking on heaven's door and mastering something. King of Swords is also a card of mastery to me. So I like this energy for you guys a lot overall. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you. There is going to be some kind of message, like I said, coming in very soon. And I feel like it's something that you've waited on with that uh, star card energy. So yeah, I feel like that's going to make you very happy as well. But this is what I'm seeing for you guys. You're more than welcome to watch out for your other signs. Again, don't forget to check out the Facebook and Instagram pages for the daily energies. But if this is where we part, I do want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me. And you all enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.